Hi everyone, I'm Teresa. I'm David. We're retired and road tripping. We're in our home. There's bandage. Uh, Dave, we are working hard. We are trying to figure out our plan for the eclipse. We went from deciding we were going to camp out of totality and drive the Jeep into totality. People were like, no, that's never going to work. Everybody's trying to do that. So then we're like, okay, well, we'll just camp in totality and then we'll just have to drive out one way. And then Friday night I was reading about gas shortages and, you know, down there in the southern Missouri, there's only a few really big towns like it's National Forest and a whole bunch of just land that, you know, so any town that you come to is going to have one little gas station. And if there's 30,000 cars needing gas, so we're still working hard. It's Sunday. Tomorrow's go day. We know that we have stripped down the Jeep. We've taken the bikes off. We've taken the kayak off. We're put the Wii Boost on. We're trying to be as mobile as we can. We're going to try to go someplace where we can sort of be by ourselves, we hope, but yet get some back roads to get back home. I am taking off work that day. Uh, it's actually a snow makeup day for us. So the kids will be in school, but I. As soon as I texted Dave that snow day, he was in the MoDOT truck, and he said, you're taking off, right? That's April 8th. That's the eclipse. And we've been planning for this trip for six months. So I texted my people, and I was like, I'm sorry, I need to take off. So kids will be in school that day, but I am taking off. So we will keep you informed here in the loop. And obviously, we're making a video, so we'll see how this goes. All right, we are en route. We're at a little gas station. Dave's running in to get himself some breakfast. We brought the dog with us. We have just been talking about we should have probably left him at home, but we'll see. We have no idea what we're getting into. The traffic so far on the interstate is not bad. Uh, it'll be more telling once we get closer to St. Louis and start heading south, but it's exciting. And we're going to, we brought four. We brought the GoPro for a time lapse, and we have three phones. We're going to be videoing, taking still pictures. So we've been watching it on the news. It's going to be exciting. It better be exciting because I'm missing school for this. So we will get back with you when we find out where we're going to be parked for the day. All right, everybody, we're in route. We were on the interstate until we couldn't be on it anymore. Now just read away, Dave. Like the things that we do in our real life have just saved us for this trip. Go ahead and Tell them all. I've been following. Well, she's using the phone right now for camera. I've been following the mode up cameras and message boards back up on 64, 270, and I 55, all about the extra delay and stuff. And now we're going to be angling through the country 109 and uh, to get over to 30 and 21. And we're going to angle our way to get over onto 60. 67, which goes into Farmington and staying completely away from I-55. And when we get to Farmington, we'll check on all the red that's coming down. It's already backed up to Arnold already. In the last hour, it was down Festus, but it's backed up to Arnold on I-55. And everybody's trying to get off on the US-61, which that's the alternate route south down to where we're heading. So this is our plan C. Like, yep. this is why, why you got to have like multiple plans for things like this a got backed up we went to b for a very little bit and then it was obvious that we were going to have to back road it all the way which is fine with us we prefer this actually anyway There's lots of traffic lights and stop and go traffic not even but involving people that, even going to the eclipse hard. that that many people out on the interstate as David said it, he goes, we need to get off this. It's going to, all these people are going to cause an accident. And, and so I, two accidents in the last 15 minutes. Yep. And we are still moving. That's part of the excitement of the challenge of beating people at their own game. So who, who knows where we're going to end up? We still, we got, we got multiple options about where we're going to park the Jeep when we get down here. So. We will keep you informed. <laughs> Travelers on I-55 got onto Highway 67 until 67 got backed up, and then they got on Highway 21. All right, we have found our spot. 
As you can see, we're here by ourselves. I don't have a clue where we are. We're somewhere in Farmington. South of Farmington. South of Farmington. We're at a conservation area and access. I'm gonna go down here and show you. We're here about an hour before the partial starts. So I think I'm gonna come down here and put my hammock up in between those two trees, catch the breeze off of this creek. It's beautiful. All right, we got partial starting. It just started. Dave's gonna tell me what the temperature is real quick. 75. It's 75. Okay, I've got the GoPro on down at the Jeep. I'm gonna... So you can kind of see what we look like. We've got a couple people whizzing in here. We will keep you updated. It's about five minutes left until totality. This helicopter showed up and it was just hovering over us. Well, we are five minutes from totality. It is getting very dark here. Uh, the roosters are crowing. We've got, as you can see, we've got a little bit of uh, people joining us. We have about five minutes and then we will be able to look at it with our naked eye. We're gonna get some video. Temperature's We're, still 75 degrees, so it hasn't gone up yet. We have a helicopter that's hovering. Uh, probably just keeping an eye on traffic is what we're thinking, but we are down to about now four minutes. You can tell how dark it is getting here. It is starting to get so exciting. Uh, there is still traffic out there. Still life is going on. People are doing their work, doing their business. It, when it went 2017 over our house, it got so quiet and co so still. So that helicopter is going to ruin our silence, but it is starting to get really dark here in the Dave. Yes, it is. All right, Dave's going to be manning the camera. I'm going to be manning the camera, and we'll see what we can get. Okay, it is getting dark. It's getting very dark now. We are one minute. One minute till totality. Here we go. Grand totality. We've got planets. You can see how dark it is. We've got light coming out on the horizon. We've got a helicopter hovering. Is that Gunther, Gunner, Gunner, how do you pronounce it? Gruner, Gruner, Gruner Ford Access, three miles south, south of Farmington. Of Farmington. So now, like, we're, we got our stuff in. We still are impartial. We stopped at this little Hager Lake. I had to go use the bathroom. And now we're heading up to St. Joe. We want to check out that campground anyway. And then we're going to put an end up there and see if we can see still part of the partial before it ends. So exciting. All right, we're gonna try. We're on the right side of the highway now. I'm not worried about getting home. If we have to back road it all the way home, so be it. We love back roads. But now we're away from I-55 and that whatever that highway is out there. 67. US 67. 67. It's starting to get packed. All right, we'll catch you in a bit. What a day! 
All right, well, we left where we were. Let's see, can you see the pretty water? Uh, we drove up St. Joe State Park. There were too many people. We did not feel comfortable getting out there. So we just kind of wheeled in there and got a map. And now we're at some little conservation area. Redwood, Redwood uh, access. Partial is just about the end. Yep. Geez, Dave, this might be like more excitement than what we could handle. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, it was. And it it was... got darker than I remember back in 2017. But... Yeah, we can't even say that this is a once in a lifetime for us. Totality went right over our house in 2017. Yep. But we weren't together. Dave was farming. I was yep. at the house with Tara and we just went across the yard and the pasture. But it was simply amazing. Like, I don't like taking off work. And I remember the morning that we had the snow day and I texted Dave and I was like, snow day makeup's april 8th <coughs> excuse me and he immediately said that's the eclipse you're taking off right yes yes i'm taking off we have been planning on this for about six months i don't give david enough credit for what he does like there's a lot of times that you know i plan the trips i take the video i edit the video i put the video out on youtube and take care of all the social media and there's times when I'm like Dave I need some help but today he earned his money he got us through everything that he knows how to do like everything he knows how to do that we do every weekend when we're out avoiding traffic jams and backed up highways he maneuvered us off of the interstate 70 off of 4061 we came back roading into Farmington and we're gonna be back roading back home it was amazing how you got us through that, Dave. I appreciate it. And it's still backed up. Everybody's heading back north to St. Louis. is on the Missouri <laughs> MoDOT Travelers app. Everything that happened coming is now going. All right. Well, any, I'm going to be working on video and photos, and I'm just going to get this one out as fast as I can get it done. Yep. Anything else you want to say? That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Now we got to take Highway 8 back over to 47 or 19 to get home. I'm going to take a couple pictures, since I'm here, I'm going to take a couple pictures and maybe some slow-mo video of that. But we appreciate you hanging with us for this momentum, like 2024 Eclipse, baby. It was exciting, and I'm so glad that we were able to do it. Yep. Woo! All right, anything else, Dave? <laughs> I can't even talk. America's beautiful. Get out and see it. Like and subscribe if you want to. We'll see you on the road.